Over here, gentlemen. Time to get to work. We're getting very little production out of these fast break opportunities. So, we're gonna work on that. All right. Let's get set up and start practice. You could do better than that. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, I'll see you later. Hey, man. So Detroit will get the first possession. You know, Doris, when we think of these teams, we think offense. What kind of game do you anticipate this being? This is going to be a lot of fun because you've got highly skilled offense on the defensive end. And the Nets may get a change here. Irving's checked in. Cunningham kicks to MP. And Doris with the financial challenges that the pandemic posed for the NBA. Private equity firms looking to break into ownership. Some questions still to be answered with that, don't you think? Andrew, what's going on? When you're out on the court, how much are you relying on the sets you've run in practice, and how much is just pure improvisation? Look, it all starts from those sets. You know, obviously we're reacting to the different looks that our opponents are throwing us, but the reason we practice is so we all react in the same way. AT, look, one unit. So would you say you're like a jazz musician out on the court? I was wondering when you were bringing something up uh, other than basketball. <laughs> you know me. Ooh, that's a good analogy. You know, I mean, Miles Davis knew all the scales. And, you know, jazz groups, they got to practice that so they can have a foundation to improvise off of that. And, you know, it's, with the team, it's the same way. We rehearse so that when it's time to perform, everybody can have their space and create without losing that collective sense of what's going on or what they're trying to do. Okay, so if you're Miles Davis, who's John Coltrane? I never said I was Miles Davis. You're trying to put words in my mouth, AT. <laughs> Just looking for a quote. Thanks, hey, look, MP. no problem, man. Glad you stopped by, MP. Got something exciting for you to check out. What's that? The GX bottle. Hey, yo, I seen those around. That's that's new, right? Our first ones came out a few years ago, yeah? But now that you're a Gatorade athlete, you get to design your own. <laughs> hey, that's what's up, man. You know the drill. Pick your color, right. text, whatever you want to make it your own. We'll send the finished product to your apartment. Hey, look, that sounds good to me. Here you go. Have fun, man. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Oh. Like I said, we'll ship it to you when it's ready. Yeah. Shouldn't be long. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for coming in. Come again soon. Hey, get out of here. See you soon. Get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> Yo, they not about to be ready. Hey, see you later, man. Chicago to start out and grab 10 goal. points in just the second half. But you have to love the way DeRozan went at the rim. He knows he's at his best when he's the aggressor. Here's Kim driving the lane. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. And he gets the basket. Defensive foul, Isaiah Stewart. That's his third person. Andrew, I know you got something interesting for me. What's up? I can't help but notice you're a bit of a clothes horse. Where did your interest in fashion come from? Absolutely. It's a lot of eyes on me, so I got to stay fly, you know? I like to stay up on what's hot and make Sean on trend and stuff. Mm, any favorite labels? Look, man, I'm young, so I like to support up-and-coming labels. You know, they're trying to make their mark on the game, and that's something I can relate to. Lots of people telling them what they can and can't do, but they don't take no for an answer. I respect that.
Ricky, what's up, man? Yo, yo, you know, your GX bottle came in today. Ooh. You know, Gatorade actually did their thing with it. How I look? I mean, not what I would have done with it, but definitely screams MP. Uh, I take that as a compliment. Yo. You can take it however you want to take it. I mean, you made it your own, right? That was the point. Yeah, it was, and I like it, bro. This is everything I wanted, man. Cool. Well, then we can just keep it right over here for whenever you want it. <laughs> hey, look, that sounds good to me. Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Man, I can't even watch this. start out with the ball. Yeah, Excellent. Randy, look at this. Reading these screen and rolls well. Lamb sizes up the defense and makes the correct move. So we see the Pistons taking the dunk. That's the end of the game. Okay, thank you. How's it going? All right, I'm going to cut right to the chase. You want out or not? Mr. Lesser, no. You lying to me? Look, this organization has felt like home since the beginning. You know, somebody told me that you fought for me in the draft room. That's when I knew this is where I wanted to be. I love this team. I mean, these are the guys that I want to go to war with. You understand me? That's like my family now. Look, Mr. Lesser, I want to build my career here. This looks sincere. <laughs> Can't believe everything you read in the news, right? Is that a joke? It's my attempt at one. Anything else you want to talk about? I still got three minutes till my next meeting. Uh, I'm good. You know, I just appreciate you talking to me man to man. All right. Anything else bothers you? Door's always open. I appreciate that. Till then, Mr. Lesser. You got it.
Yo, yo, just got off the phone with your agents and they wanted me to set up an interview with Candace Green. Talk about trade rumors? Yep, your turn to shape the narrative. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Look, just be honest, tell the truth, be yourself, yeah. and let everybody know that you're happy where we are and we're good. Look, I can handle that. All right, good. I'll give her a call and I'll put it on your schedule when we set up a time. Appreciate you, bro. You got it. If it is a test of knowledge you seek, you've come to the right place. But don't expect to beat me. For my knowledge is deep, and my questions insidious. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Christopher Wallace was known by what infamous nickname? The Notorious B.I.G. Unexpected, but correct. What was Lil Wayne's first rap name? You're taking it back. Shrimp Daddy. <laughs> Correct. Which song was sampled in the Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight? Uh, oh, I know this. Good Times by Sheep. Absolutely right. <laughs> The only thing you failed to do is disappoint me. Well done. MP, you keep on giving me interesting answers. Makes me want to come up with more interesting questions. Hey, look, what you got for me then? Okay, well, you know, since you've and a lot of other people have been talking about all the clothes you're wearing and all that stuff, I'm just wondering, like, can you sum up your game with one article of clothing? <laughs> Something shiny, man. Something that catches your eye. Look, without me, this offense is dull, bro. I bring life to it and I make it interesting. Now, look, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but the team, they need me. You get fans in them seats and they just keep them awake, bro. Get me on the court, I'm like a diamond reflecting light all through the arena. Okay, so now that we know what it is, who's designing it? Hey, man, I'm loving what Balenciaga's doing. They stand out without being gaudy, and it's just, it's just original, bro. And you know what? They broke the mold when it comes to me. Thanks, MP. I mean, I gotta say, you are a fiery competitor on the court and a philosopher off of it. This sounds like a goodbye. You got the deal, right? Oh, well, you're in the NBA, so I thought maybe you would cover it. <laughs> hey, look, man, thank you for a great interview. I got it, man. You, you should sure? get out of here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We could split 50-50. I'll see you around, Sorry, bro. man. See you, MP. Feel like doing something a little different today? Good. Good. I got just a thing for you. Get that camera ready. Check this out.